Now, CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good Monday morning. We are waking up to a cloudy and wet start. Give yourself extra time. Some of the roads are very slick and dangerous. We're looking from our Biscayne Bay camera, Miami right now, overcast, a lot of clouds and wet and windy weather today. Because of this front, it's going to pass through and there's just a lot of moisture associated with it. So it will remain unsettled. As we look at the radar, we have some heavy downpours and some lightning now near Coral Springs and also seeing some showers around Tamarack Fort Lauderdale. Flood advisory continues until 7.15 a.m. for Southern Broward and North Central Miami-Dade County for places like Davie, Miramar, Pembroke Pines, near Hard Rock Stadium, Miami Lakes, because we had some heavy, heavy rain earlier, about one to three inches of rain. Additional rainfall has been falling, and so we could see some street flooding. And then Aventura, North Miami, dealing with some shower activity, Southwest Ranches, as well as now a lot of the rain beginning to move across Miami-Dade County run, Doral, Miami International Airport, parts of downtown Miami. Miami, Miami Beach, Key Biscayne, West Miami, Sweetwater, Coral Gables, Kendall Lakes. I just heard some thunder outside my house here near Kendall, the hammocks, and also across Key Largo in the Upper Keys, some thunderstorms. A wind advisory is in effect through 2 a.m. Tuesday due to the northeast winds, about 15 to 25 miles an hour, gusts to 35 miles an hour. So hang on to the umbrella. It'll be quite windy to blustery at times today. Sustained winds already about 15 to 18 miles an hour and gusts as high as 20 to even 20. 26 miles an hour and temperature is warm and sticky upper 70s and low 80s tropical storm beta expected to bring tropical storm conditions to portions of the texas coast this morning and throughout the day today moving west slowly at six forecast to possibly make landfall later this evening and then push on shore move to the northeast become a depression and an area of low pressure so for texas and louisiana heavy rain flooding gusty winds and storm surge a threat and then as we look at the rest of the tropics hurricane teddy south east of Bermuda is a category two. It'll continue to possibly just move to the east of Bermuda, but we're dealing with large swells up and down the Atlantic coast and dangerous rip currents, rough boating conditions, post-tropical cyclone Paulette way out in the northern Atlantic, not a bother to anyone. Remnants of Wilfrid just to the east of the Lesser Antilles in the central Atlantic. So no direct threats for us here in South Florida, but we are going to be dealing with stormy conditions at times today. Highs in the mid to upper 80s, gusty downpours. It is not a day to be heading to the beach or swimming because it's very dangerous due to the high risk of rip currents. Also, that coastal flood advisory continues as minor coastal flooding will be possible around high tide times around noon and midnight. Small craft advisory, a gale warning is in effect. So boaters, very hazardous conditions today. Gusts of 35 knots, seas 7 to 9 up to 11 feet. North swells about 3 to 5 feet. So definitely not a day for beach going or for boating. Tonight, scattered showers, staying windy 76. Tomorrow, the official start of fall. And you know what? At least once we get past some breezy showers, it'll be lower humidity for us and highs in the upper 80s, not as hot the rest of the week. 